So what happened was that three years ago, I believe, me and my friends were going down to the park not too far from here because we wanted to record and direct this movie, which was essentially about a drug deal which was occurring. We did shot the scene before in front of the streets near our school campus, the one we used to go to, but that one seemed poorly shot and it was too dark and they accidentally deleted the footage because it retarded like that. Now, of course, yes, I'm a hater, but I'm a very bitter person deep down inside. So, we went down to the park, and we're flustered because we lost our friend. Our friend's kind of a crack baby, and something must have happened to him because he went crazy and he ran off on his own, and we couldn't find him. But we went to the park anyway to shoot the scene, and all of a sudden we find my old chess teacher. He was peeing on a tree. I don't know what, and then he like, after he was peeing, finished peeing with the tree, he noticed me, because I was standing in front, because I'm a freak like that. And he came up in front of me and said, Yo, I didn't see you in a while. I shook his hand, the same hand he grabbed his dick with, but I wasn't really thinking straight since I was retarded. And, uh, yes, yeah, me. How's your friend? Is he still going out with that girl? Uh, wrong fucking move. At that point, I cursed him out because I knew that this drama was going to start again. For the rest of the day, my friend was thinking about what he said. After we were shooting down the scene and trying to get it to be perfect, getting the right locations in the park for the simulated drug deal. After that's all said and done, and this film wasn't complete, and never got complete yet. What happened was that my friend brought it up again, and he's like, How come is it that you're cuffing and I'm not? I still deserve her, you don't deserve her, you're just a faggy-ass brother, and then they got into a fight. And of course, these two are, you know, freaking geeks like me. And this fight didn't last very long, or it wasn't even that good. It was actually quite depressing. But that's what you expect. <clears throat> the best way to describe it is when you're on a UFC match, and then you see, like, freaking, what's his face, Kimbo Slice. And you'd think he'd start destroying that small little nigga, but then he throws like a little roundhouse kick or punch, or a little bitch punch. It's not really a bitch slap or a punch, it's like a bitch punch and he goes down. And this is a freaking disappointing ass fight. You didn't see any blood or grappling or any crazy shit. It was just a couple of bitch slaps and then... They were just grabbing onto each other like little hoes. And after all that said and done, I came back home and... We were supposed to go together to... Focus on our band, because we had a band at that time as well. So we were doing movies and bands, and we are very ambitious as kids. Ten times more ambitious than we are nowadays, where we're just on Facebook 24-7. Even though it's not a good site at all. And there's nothing interesting that happens. So, uh, I came home and my parents asked me what happened. Why aren't they here? And I told them they weren't here because they were gay for each other. And they went to a motel somewhere in Uptown. Well, up, uptown, like in, near the Bronx. And that was just depressing. I feel sad. Even now, because that was be the beginning of the end for us. 
Mm, any evaluations about what happened? That brawl in the park. Every day, my circle of friends, month by month, year by year, becomes smaller until ultimately I have to find a new clique. And that's just the way it works because I'm probably the whiniest little son of a bitch, so I can't tolerate the fact that things can't just stay the same. We can't just be the bros all the time. Why am I complaining? I never lead my clique. I can never take them so that they're together forever and always. Because that's just not how it's going to work sometimes. Sometimes our friends just leave. So let me know what you think about this words of Leon. I'm probably going to proceed with another one pretty soon. <clears throat> This is going to be a good series, I have a feeling.